What's the difference between a 143T and a 145T motor frame size? What does it mean if there's a Z or a C or a Y in my motor frame size? We'll answer these questions and more in today's video. Hi, I'm Keith from eMotors Direct, your go-to source for industrial electric motors in Canada. We offer unbeatable availability and technical support to help you get the right motor replacements fast. So, what's a motor frame size and why does it matter? Frame size is a standardized code that defines the motor's physical dimensions, including shaft height, diameter, and length, motor length, and width, and the mounting hole pattern. The frame size ensures that the motors from different manufacturers are interchangeable, as long as they have the same frame size and the other specifications match. The larger the frame size, the larger the motor. You've probably seen some motors with letters in the frame size, like 256TC. So what do these letters mean, and are they important to pay attention to when replacing a motor? T is the most common letter that you'll see on NEMA frame sizes. This letter just means it's from the 1964 standardization or later. Almost all industrial motors will be team frame, unless you have a motor from the 1960s still in use. If it's from before 1964, you'll see a U in the frame size, but it's rare nowadays. A C stands for C flange mount and a D stands for D flange mount. A JM, JP, or J indicates this is a motor with a specific pump shaft. A P usually indicates a P base or vertical motor. If you have a Y or a Z in your frame size, these can be curveballs. A Y indicates a special mounting configuration, but not what the special configuration is. On the other hand, a Z indicates a special shaft, but not exactly what about the shaft is special. It could be shorter, longer, harder, or something else entirely. And every so often, you'll see an M scribed into your motor nameplate in the frame size section. This M usually denotes that the motor has been modified or retrofitted in some way, not by the manufacturer. It could be as simple as an added temperature measurement device or something much more complicated. You'll come across a few other letters in the motor frame sizes, but these are the most common. I get this question a lot. When you're replacing your motor, do you need to find the exact same frame size? You do have a little wiggle room in some cases, and this comes in handy when there are stock shortages. To confirm, you'll need to consult your NEMA frame size chart. To read the frame size chart, you'll take the letters up here and match them here for the measurements in inches. For example, there's only one difference between a 143T and a 145T frame. The bolt hole position on the feet of the motor. Everything else is exactly the same. On the frame size chart, you can see that the same applies for the 213T and 215T, a 254T and 256T and so on. So for example, if you're trying to replace a 256T frame motor and this size is out of stock, you may be able to replace it with a 254T frame, assuming you have some flexibility on where your bolt holes are. To make motor selection even easier, download the full frame size chart and measurement guide at emotorsdirect.ca. And if you're unsure, don't hesitate to reach out to our expert technical team at eMotors Direct. Be sure to like and subscribe. Drop your questions in the comments below. We might even feature your question in our next video. I'm Keith from eMotors Direct. Thanks for tuning in.